Traditionally, Harleys have always been really good-looking motorcycles that leave a lasting impression on you. And once you hear that signature rolling thunder exhaust note, it instantly reminds you of cruising down the wide-open American freeway. Now, unfortunately, we don't have too many freeways like they do in America, but Harley has been listening. For 2017, we get this 1200 Roadster. It gets the same frame and engine as the rest of Harley's Sportster series, but design and execution remind you of Harley's performance-oriented past. It also gets a few other parts that make it a better suited motorcycle for India. The Roadster is the most sport-oriented version of the Sportster series since the discontinued XR1200. And in keeping with its retro Sportster theme, the Roadster gets a shortened front fender and a chopped rear one. And the 12.5-litre peanut tank sits atop a blacked-out engine that keeps with Harley's dark custom theme. While the fuel capacity still isn't something to be marvelled at, it certainly is an improvement over the minuscule 7.9-litre one on the 48, with which it also shares its headlight. It does, however, get a partially digital speedometer that has readouts for speed, an odometer, trip meters, low fuel and a clock, with an analog tachometer. The only issue here is that the digital readout does become rather hard to read in direct sunlight. And the Roadster also gets these really good-looking split 5-spoke cast wheels that are specific to this model. This long, step single seat is reasonably comfortable and adds to the whole classic and aggressive look of the Roadster. And the handlebars, they are a little low set, which will have you leaning forward a little, which should help in quicker changes in direction. Now, one small issue could be the position of the foot pegs. While they are slightly forward set for this type of riding position, they definitely come in the way every time you have to put your feet down. The 1202 Evolution motor that the Roadster comes equipped with turns 30 this year and is as likeable and talky as it used to be. However, since the bike does have the extra handling capabilities, a slight bump in power would have complemented its racier looks. In fact, the relaxed nature of the engine is quite contrasting to the sporty theme of the rest of the motorcycle. Although this is a torque-rich engine, it still takes a fair bit of shifting to keep the engine responsive and avoid knocking. And for the quick throttle response in turns, working through the gearbox does become a necessity. The clutch still feels heavy to operate, which is going to be a hassle in heavy traffic situations. And, as we've seen before, there's still a lot of vibration at idle, which smooths out once you get to higher revs. What really sets it apart from its Harley stablemates is this. The Roadster gets 43mm inverted forks and twin 300mm discs up front. So you really know things are going to be taken up a notch. Combine these brakes with the excellent grip levels from the Harley specific Dunlop tyres and the stopping power is just phenomenal. Plus, this bike also gets ABS. And it also happens to have the most suspension travel of any of the Sportsters. 4.5 inches up front and 3.2 inches at the rear, which isn't much compared to other motorcycles, but it's still an improvement over the older models. The cavernous shape of the rider saddle does come in quite handy when pulling hard off the line. It really holds the rider in place and prevents sliding backwards. The padding on the seat definitely aids in comfort on longer hauls. The pillion seat, however, won't be very comfortable for anything other than short spins around the city. It slopes towards the rear and constantly gives you the sensation of sliding off. The 43mm inverted forks really smooth out the bumps thanks to improved cartridge damping, which in turn makes the bike a lot more stable in the turns and really gives you the confidence to lean deep into the corner. Even the upgraded adjustable rear shocks, while on the stiffer side, do manage to soak up uneven surfaces reasonably well. Combine all these factors with the newly adjusted steering geometry and the Roadster is more nimble and responsive than any of the other Sportsters. Another big bonus the bike gets is its ground clearance. 
a whole 150 mm of it. Which means unlike Harley's other Sportster models, the Roadster can conquer most of the badly designed speed breakers that litter our roads. Performance wise, Harley Davidson is just stepping up to the level other cruiser manufacturers have been at for a while. This is one of those bikes that is a fair bit of fun to ride and still reminds you of its long and rich heritage. We can only hope that Harley continues to push the envelope with its other models and bring them up to date. At 9,70,000 rupees ex showroom Mumbai for the base variant, the bike is priced quite decently. But we'll just have to wait and see if it appeals to customers beyond Harley's classic cruiser image. <laughs>